been elected to the Peace and Security Council. What impact will that have? Let's find out from Vuya Mvoko, who's there at the moment. Vuya, thanks for joining us. Um, a busy few days at this summit, so many issues on the table. Um, take us through what you think are probably the most prominent Well, the most prominent, uh, no doubt, are the wars that are going on on the continent uh, at uh, the moment uh, in South Sudan, what's happening in Burundi, um, the flashpoints, um, if you like. So those are definitely on the agenda. There's been a lot of toing and froing, people trying to strike uh, deals or to come up uh, with something that's going to ensure that uh, beyond uh, this particular summit, those issues will be attended to. There is, of course, the flashpoints. Uh, Nigeria or parts of Nigeria um, as well as Somalia where Al-Shabaab and uh, Boko Haram are. That issue is also receiving attention. And so of course is the issue of the reconstitution um, uh, of uh, the security um, um, arrangements of uh, the African Union uh, because um, part of the problem why the conflicts in Burundi for example are continuing uh, part of the reason why um, uh, you are seeing what you are seeing in Somalia is precisely because not enough attention perhaps um, has uh, uh, been uh, given um, uh, to those issues. So those issues are very much on the table and so of course is the issue of self-reliance and the self-funding of uh, the African Union. Peter? I would imagine that uh, the Burundi situation in particular is going to be a real test for the African Union because if one of its members just refuses flat out to say no African Union troops will come into my country and takes a hard line, how they manage that perhaps might set a precedent for future challenges. Well, that's what uh, we also thought earlier, I mean, at the weekend and over the past couple of days, um, as we sort of sought to um, get a sense from the people who are attending uh, the summit, people who are in the know, who, have been, who are part of those behind closed doors, um, um, negotiations and conversations going on. But for what we picked up yesterday morning, it is that there apparently some terrible mistakes um, were made and among those, it was a question of how the AU got to pronounce on uh, um, the idea of a uh, force, a peacekeeping force that should be sent to Burundi before a report was actually tabled uh, to uh, recognize structures of the African Union because apparently from the way things are supposed to work, there's supposed to have been some kind of effect uh, finding mission or, or or, or, or something akin to that. And that would have had to report uh, to a structure or to a group of people who would then examine what uh, uh, that structure would have, uh, would have found and thereafter make a recommendation. Apparently, um, those processes or the normal conventions or protocols went followed. And from what our sources are telling us, that has weakened um, uh, the ability of uh, this particular summit to actually read Burundi the riot act because Burundi has read that to mean that there is a conspiracy to try and put it on the back foot. Hence the Burundi government is refusing is having none of uh, the suggestions that uh, there should be a peacekeeping force going into their country. So the, what our sources are telling us is that um, the hands of the heads of state are going to be tied and uh, uh, from, from, uh, from, from what they are telling us, it looks very much unlikely that Burundi will be read the riot act, but there is hope. There's a glimmer of hope in that South Africa has been invited back onto the process and uh, there is hope therefore that uh, somehow there will be a resolution for Burundi does take South Africa very, very seriously. Peter? All right, and that's where we're going to leave it uh, for tonight. Uh, that's our contributing editor, Vuyom Vogo, in Ethiopia, head of the uh, AU summit taking place there. And we'll be crossing to him continually as he gives us more coverage on that, Burundi, and many other uh, issues uh, on the agenda.